Manchester United has won 2-0 against Everton. This was a game that they absolutely needed to win. United started this game off terribly. Honestly, I thought we were going to go down like 2-0 in the first 10 minutes. But then, some way, somehow, we did a couple counterattacks, got a couple of penalties awarded to us, which I've never seen that happen. United barely ever gets one penalty awarded to them, let alone two. Bruno with the first penalty, I'm glad to see him get a goal because I feel like that's going to boost his confidence a bit and hopefully he can push on for the remaining, I believe it's 10 games now, and do some great things, get a lot of goals and assists to help us get some points and hopefully get top four. Rashford with the second penalty, obviously very happy for him as well. He needs the confidence boost and I'm hoping that this goal is going to help him out. My man of the match, though, has to be Alejandro Garnacho. This guy got two penalties awarded to United just because he was trying so hard on the offense. This guy was making runs, he was tracking back, setting up plays, taking shots, like, easily the best player on the pitch today. And the fact that he got two penalties awarded to United, like, that is easily man of the match right there. And I'm kind of sad he didn't even get to take one of the penalties. Like, I thought the second one, you know, he probably should have gotten that one. But I get it. You know, Bruno's the captain. He awarded it to Rashford. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. But if we got a third one, he should 1,000% be taking that one. Overall, I would say that wasn't the greatest game. It was uh, pretty sloppy. We're giving the ball away all the time. Casemiro had a stinker. Uh, you know, the, the team just didn't play all that well, which is very concerning. But we got the three points. That's what was absolutely needed. It was crucial. And pretty much every game that we're playing until the end of the season is an absolute must win. Because if we're looking at the table and we want to make top four, it's going to be pretty difficult. Because Aston Villa's got 55 points. We got to catch them. Uh, Villa plays Tottenham tomorrow, so hopefully they drop points or draw with Tottenham and then we can just keep winning and hopefully surpass them. The last 10 games of the season are going to be extremely difficult. We got to play Liverpool, we got to play Chelsea, but, and we need those points. And we got to talk about Eric Ten Hag because honestly, I don't see him being the coach next season, especially if we get knocked out of the FA Cup by Liverpool, maybe lose to Liverpool in the league. I don't know. Um, I And then not get top four. I am extremely worried for him. I think if we don't get top four, that Ineos and uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and everything told Eric Ten Hag, like, you will not be the coach next season. So that's why it's super crucial for Ten Hag and the team and everything to climb up the uh, table here, get top four. But honestly, it's going to be extremely difficult. But I still have hope. I still think there's a chance. It might be delusional because the point gap is pretty significant. And with a goal difference of zero in the top six, like that is absolutely ridiculous. Everyone else is 16, 22, 45, 35, 39. We're over here sitting at zero. And that is the story of our season. We don't dominate games. We don't win games like three, four, nothing. We're always getting scrappy wins. That's like by one or two goal margins. And that's about it. And I get it, you know, we got a lot of injuries, we don't have a proper number 9 on the field, no proper left back, like, I get it. And then a lot of center backs are injured too, so there's a lot of injury problems at United. But I'm really hoping that the season can end strong, we can hopefully get top 4, get the Champions League spot, and then have a much better season next year with, hopefully, very minimal injuries. But anyways, guys, like I said, United has won 2 nothing. We got the three points. That was obviously very important today. Let me know what you guys thought about the match down below. And do you think that we can actually get top four?